can you launch a product on Amazon in 2021 for under a thousand pounds? There's a lot of people that would say you can't, but in this case study, I'm gonna attempt to show you that you can. The key is gonna be having the right expectations, knowing the right metrics, and taking the right approach, and that's exactly what we're gonna be discussing today. Well, welcome to this little mini series that I'm going to be doing called Project 1K, where I'm going to attempt to take you through the journey of launching a product on Amazon for under a thousand pounds. If you like content like this, you want to launch your first profitable product, grow a future proof brand, then be sure to subscribe with those notifications on and you will be well on your way. Uh, I recorded this live inside of our Brand Builder University community and each week I'm going to be recording an episode live inside of our community and what we're going to do is we're going to put the like the highlights on YouTube, we're going to edit it down to make it a bit more palatable for you guys and really what I'm going to be doing is bringing you on the journey, showing the over the shoulder journey of me actually doing this. I'm not just going to tell you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it. In this week we're going to talk through the metrics required in order to launch a product for under a thousand pounds, what you need to be looking for, the kind of expectations you need to have all in preparation for then next week going to look at some product research and then sourcing and then shipping and then selling all of that kind of stuff. We're following what we call the brand builder blueprint, which I'll talk about a bit later in the video. It's going to be eight parts in total, hopefully over eight weeks if I can get things moving quick enough and really just document this process for you. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. So let's jump into it. So Project 1K, I wanted to talk you through the concept, why I've decided to do this. Uh, it was a bit of a crazy, I suppose, idea. And uh, my wife tried to convince me not to do it because I'm already pretty busy. But I felt like it's going to be something that's going to be really helpful for people and kind of I'm going to enjoy it as well. So here's the concept, right? I'm going to cold launch a new product. So what I mean by cold launch is no audience, no existing brand, no existing products in that niche, nothing, completely cold. I'm going to go through the process. We have something called the Brand Builder Blueprint, which is like an eight stage process for you to get started. I'm literally going to follow that over the shoulder and you're going to be able to watch me as I do. I'm actually going to launch this product. So I'm starting on a small budget because we're also documenting another brand we're launching. We're actually seeing some uh, delays in that one. So products aren't going to be ready for around maybe another six or seven weeks. Uh, but that's more at the higher end of the, the, the budget spectrum. And so I wanted to you know, also show something on the smaller end. I want to show you what's possible if you believe in e-commerce and really invest in it with that brand. But I also want to show you uh, how you could get started with a smaller budget. There, of course, are going to be limitations, but I'm going to work you through those. Um, and then so I'm going to be launching it in the UK. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say you can't launch a product on a small budget. There's a lot of people out there that might say Amazon's too saturated. But 2021, this product will be launching cold launch, no existing audience. It's going to be from scratch. You know, hopefully this goes well. I don't know. Like I've not prepared any of this. I'm literally going to be showing you as I do this along the way. So it could all go horribly wrong, but hopefully not. Okay, so here's the rules of Project 1K. And uh, I recognize that Helium 10 have done Project X, which is a great series. You should definitely check it out. Uh, but this is my kind of, I suppose, a little bit of a spinoff of this to actually show what's possible with that smaller budget uh, in the UK, in different marketplaces, show something a little bit different. And so here are the rules. Uh, number one, the budget, like I say, is £1,000. And that's for everything, right? So I'm going to be strict with this. I'm going to keep it to this level, A, because I don't want to spend too much money on it, and B, because, uh, you know, I know, like for me, if I'm launching a product and something happens or I want to do something extra, I might be able to go find that money from somewhere. But I know there'll be some people that are saying, look, Ben, I want to get started for a small budget. I don't have the means maybe to access more or, or I don't want to put more in until I see how legit this is. So this is my capped budget. And so this is going to be for everything, right? I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to get someone to do my copy for me, to do my images for me. Like I'm literally going to take the images myself with a phone. I'm going to edit them myself in Canva. I'm going to show you all the free tools you can use to be able to do this. I'm going to show you the, I won't say shortcuts because they'll take longer, but the, the money cuts of how you can do this on a shoestring budget. In terms of the exact budget lines, or like what each thing is going to cost, I'll go through that at the end 
of part two or the start of part three once I know the product, because I don't know yet, I haven't looked yet. Once I know the product that I'll be launching, then I'll be able to say, because you know we might need to put more into the product, or we might be able to put less into the product and more into things like you know a trademark and things like that. So, but I will be keeping it real lean. I'll be doing all of the stuff myself. I'll be you know taking all of the lean options. We'll only be launching on Amazon to begin with. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, in case of emergencies, of course, like anything, there could be some emergencies where it's like either pay a hundred dollars or you won't get your product shipped to you for whatever reason, right? If something like that does happen and I need to go over the budget to make the project continue, I will disclose that for you. I'll be breaking down line by line every penny I spend so you can see. And then also I'm going to keep a time log, right? Because one of the other things I recognize is people want to know, can I launch a brand? Can I launch a product on Amazon? If I've got a job, if I'm busy, right? And now I'm, I'm busy. I'm running other businesses. I've got other things going on. And again, my wife is like, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's going to take time. And it is, but I'm also going to try and keep this to a very minimal time. I'm actually recording this now live inside of our brand builder university community. Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing well. And so uh, I'm going to be recording it live each week inside our community so that our members can ask questions. They can see the process. What we're putting on YouTube is like an edited sort of cut down version that is like a condensed version. So you just get the, the highlights of it, but inside the community, we're, we're, we're sort of uh, digging deep through this process as we go along. However, what I will do is I will document, I will log any of the non live activities. So for instance, if in the second session where we're looking at products and we're researching products, if I then go away and have to do some further research, I'm going to time log the time I spent on it so that uh, you can see over this whole process, how much time it's actually taken me to do what I've done. Now, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to be a success, right? This could be a complete flop. <laughs> it could be an absolute disaster. However, if it does work and I do make some money from it, or at least start to you know, generate some revenue from it, then you'll be able to see what kind of commitment it takes to do that. Of course, with a lower budget, generally speaking, it's going to be more time intensive. And so there's going to be things that I just personally don't have the time to do. If I had no other things to do and I didn't have any other priorities with a low budget, I'll be putting time in. Because if you really want to get momentum, really, you, you want to be putting in time or, or money, one or the other, ideally both. When you've got not as much money, you want to put more time in where possible. I don't have loads of time, so I'm going to try and do it on a shoestring budget on both sides of, of the coin. And so, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that goes. So the criteria, right? And this is one of the key things that we're going to be looking at. The criteria for launching this product, this, uh, this low budget product, it has to be specific because we've only got a certain amount of money available to us. And so the first thing is we want this product to be small and light. It does present us with some challenges. Uh, because this makes it more uh, accessible, it means that more people are looking for this kind of product. Lots of people are trying to find small and light. I've never sold small and light before. My products generally have always been sort of shoebox size or bigger because small and light tends to be a little bit more saturated, but we're going to go for it. We're going to take some risks. We're going to see what happens because we want to get it air shippable because on a low budget, it means we're going to be able to order less amount of units. Therefore, we want to order something that has got a quick turnaround time. You know, we can have it produced quick and we can have it shipped quick so that we're not waiting three months for our, you know, small order. And then we sell through that order quickly and then we're waiting a long time again. So that's the first criteria we're going to be looking for, for this product. Uh, the second criteria is a low unit cost. Of course, you know, we want to try and get a few hundred units probably. So we're going to be in that two, $3 range somewhere, which we'll go into again in, in the second part. I'll talk you through the stages are going to go in a minute. And then the third criteria is we're looking for low to medium demand. And this is the, one of the big things about this is people think, well, uh, you know, I want to make loads of money by selling on Amazon, but they've also uh, the same people that ask me the question, can I get started for not much money? And those two things just don't add up economically, right? If you want to get, uh, you know, quick money, if you want to grow quickly, then you need to invest time and or money, probably both into it. Whereas if you want to start small, ultimately you have to be prepared for the long game. You can't put a thousand pounds into a physical product business and take a hundred thousand pounds out in six months time. It just, 
economically it doesn't work, not viable, right? So you need to be prepared for that and understand that we're looking for low to medium demand. You'll kind of hear me talking out loud as I go through this process. And then of course, we're going to be looking for a low minimum order quantity. So we're going to have to negotiate with some suppliers for a, a lower order quantity, which would be fun. This is an introduction this week, just to let you know that we're following what we call the brand builder blueprint. Now this is like an eight stage blueprint that's like the scaffolding around building the pillars of a brand, the pillars of a real brand, any brand that lasts, any brand that you're, uh, you know, that you love to buy from that stands the test of time and isn't just a product on Amazon that's here today and gone tomorrow. They really have four things. They have values that they represent, they have products they develop, they have assets, they own assets like audiences, like websites, like social media followings, and then they have traffic they control. It's not just on one site like Amazon, but they diversify their traffic so they've got more control so that if their Amazon account got shut down or if certain algorithmic changes happened, they'd still be, you know, okay, we're going to be following this and you can actually pick up, there's a, like a PDF guide to this that you can pick up in the link in the description below. It is the brand builder blueprint checklist step by step. So you can check off each step of launching your first profitable product on Amazon. So you can grab that below, but just to let you know, this is the, the process we're following. So each week I'm going to go through one of these eight stages, right? You've got to start. This week is just about understanding why we're starting this, how we're starting this, the metrics behind this, the reasoning, that kind of thing. And then next week, uh, week two of this Project 1K, we're going to be looking at selecting our products. Like what, what do we do for product research? What kind of criteria? What tools do we use? What do we look for? How do I assess different things, whether it's going to work or not for, you know, the small budget. And then uh, you'll see me contact suppliers, negotiate with them, talk through the potential changes we want to make to a product. Uh, and then you'll see me set different things up like the Amazon listing, like the uh, potentially a trademark, if we've got enough money for that, that kind of thing. I'm going to walk you through those processes. Week five, you'll see me talking through with a freight forwarder, how to set up the shipping, um, all of that kind of stuff. Again, depending on how we set things up with the supplier, a low amount, we might just do it through DHL or something like that, but we shall see. Stage six, we're going to look at shaping the Amazon listing. So this is a really, really key phase. And you can, again, watch me live as I create an Amazon listing for this product. My hope is that by this time, the product is on its way uh, because we're going to be hopefully aiming for something that's a short lead time. We're shipping it by air. And then week seven, we're going to be talking about selling and we're going to launch that product on Amazon. I'm going to show you how to do a low budget launch. And then uh, week eight, talking about scaling is how can I then go on, take that product, you know, to the next level and potentially launch some follow-up products to that. Uh, this is the blueprint of building a future-proof brand. But like I say, you can check that out in the link down below and uh, make sure you're following along. Make sure you're subscribed to uh, keep be notified of when we're launching out these new episodes. I don't know, this could go one or two ways. It could go well and it could, you know, be an exciting watch for you guys, or it could be an absolute disaster, which potentially is even more of an exciting watch for you guys. So uh, I'm well aware of that. And, uh, you know, it's a bit of a risk, but I thought let's have some fun. Let's test some things out. And hopefully it's a learning exercise for you guys. If you want to follow the journey, you can join our uh, free Facebook group, the uh, Brand Builder Society. You can follow us on social media, or you can obviously subscribe to the channel. And I uh, would love to see you in part two of Project 1K. And we'll see you real soon.